Making more sales doesn't always mean that you're going to be making more money because there's a certain point when you start making more sales, you're going to need to spend money to support the volume and the growth because you're going to start needing to hire an assistant. You need some virtual assistants. You need some systems in place. CRM, the website, the follow-up system, the marketing campaigns, everything like that starts to switch. So for example, if the single agent is selling about 40 55 properties a year that's like a red line that's like a tipping point when every single sale now becomes too much so if you're like me i always wanted to sell more and more and more but then i face this reality which tells me that every single time you start moving moving past the 50 55 deals a year now every single sale is going to create a little bit too much work and now you need systems in place uh, to support the volume. So now you start hiring a real estate, like an assistant and everything like that. For a team, now if you need a leverage with a buyer's agent, uh, for example, if you have an assistant, now you're going to be hiring the buyer's agent. Now you need the second buyer's agent. Now you need a little bit more office space. Now you need some other systems in place. Now you start paying for some leads for your agents. Now the expenses keep growing. So now you're even going to have to work even harder because you already have this certain expense in place. And now you rather do more deals because you need to offset that expense. Because now every single deal after the moment you include that have this expense, now these deals become become for free because that expense is has to be paid off either way. So if you either do 70 deals or 75, now after the 70 deal, five is your net profit deals, right? So then you reach 80 and then you need other systems in place. So every time you start going through some stages, you're going to have to start implementing new systems, spending more money, and your expenses start growing. Same thing happened with me when I was a brand new agent. I was going from zero to 40. Pretty much you're so lean, you have zero expense. If you're doing it right, if you're doing it with social media, if you're going after your database and working by referral, you're pretty much, your expenses are pretty much zero except for gas in your car. And after I was going from 40 to to 100, I still had a little bit of expenses, but now I was spending marketing on a database that already bought homes with me. Then I was spending money on ads because I wanted to reach more people. Now when we had a, uh, an, an assistant in place and when we started uh, expanding an office, same thing started to happen because as soon as we reached a certain amount of agents in our brokerage, now we need more space. So now we signed a bigger lease for a longer time. Now our expenses grow. Now because we have so many deals happening, we have to have a software in place that cuts checks automatically and things like that. So our expenses keep growing up and now as soon as we add one expense, we're like, we need to keep going f uh, further because now every single deal after this one is more money. So every time, so there's a point where it's the most efficient and the, the, the best is, I would say it, it's probably 45 deals per single agent is when you're super lean. It's yes, all the sales depend on specifically only on you. You have no leverage. You're going to be only the, the only person working these deals, but you're going to have zero expense and you pretty much can take a break. Don't take a break. And if you have some good relationship with the brokerage, maybe they can step in and help you out with some other things that could uh, just uh, help you out when you are not in place and you need some extra leverage from, from some of the people that work in the support team in the brokerage. But um, that's probably the most efficient place for a single agent and the amount of money you're going to be making is probably the best staying at 45 to 55 deals as a single agent. If you can, if you can handle that amount of deals, you're going to be the most efficient. There's a way to get it to a 70 deals, I think per year as a single agent, but you need to be more listing focused. And if you're in the beginning of your career, you're not going to be like that. Unless you're 10 plus years in the business, you're probably going to be more listing focused. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody says that, yo, oh, you need to be going after listings, you need to be a listing agent. It takes time. It takes years and it takes experience in your database to come back and relist the properties that you help them buy. It's going to take some time for them to list with you. But this is my opinion. This is why I think that 40 to 55 deals pushing it to 60 deals as a single agent without no support is going to be the leanest. You're going to be making the most amount of money. And if you can raise the price 
point of those properties. And if that if your goal is to stay as an agent forever, amazing income, you're going to have a lot of money saved up. But if you want to keep growing like I did, then you're going to be faced with every time there's a reinvestment. I need to put money back. I need to put money back. I need to expand, expand, expand. Now I'm like, oh my God, my plans. I'm like, I need a million bucks just to, you know, just to do what I want to do. So it's, and I'm not going to say that I make more money than I was selling when I was selling 100 houses a year. Probably even less. If you do all the numbers and, 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 and reduce all the expenses that I have, I'm probably making less than somebody who was selling probably 80 houses a year, you know, just as a single, like a little team. If you have like a little team with just one agent who's helping you show houses, then you're also very, very uh, lean. And if you can push as much as you can in that position, then those two positions, a single agent or a team with one showing assistant and a part time, uh, uh, I mean, assistant and a part time agent who is going to show the properties for you is like is the best best lean position that you can have and then after everything everything after that is just huge expense so hope this is like a little bit of a different angle because i walked through zero to we're probably going to close 500 deals this year so i'm walking through that path and i'm seeing expenses and like net profits and i mean this is what this is what my observations look like so yeah, that's it. I mean, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Be good.